What's up guys? I hope you are doing fantastic. A lot of you might not know this, especially since I'm expressive talking to a camera, but I am a huge introvert. I actually spend most of my time, my free time, alone or with uh, my girlfriend Laura and Rogan, and that's about it. <laughs> Besides that, I don't really hang out with a whole lot of people. And uh, when Laura's at work and maybe I have the day off, I usually don't call up any of my friends. I usually spend most of my time alone. And you know what? It's not because I don't want to hang out with friends or anything. Um, it's not that I, I feel like I have social anxiety or fear around hanging out with other people. I just legitimately like hanging out with myself so that so I'm a huge introvert I spend most of my time alone but uh, when I was younger I was I was quiet back then I've always been introverted and uh, I used to be very shy and self-conscious about being introverted and quiet and I had a lot of fear around talking to other people nowadays I, I could talk to people fine I could go to a party or I can uh, I go to Toastmasters and I speak in front of groups which is quite nerve-wracking but I mean I could still do that and I don't uh, I don't have a tremendous amount of fear and as I mentioned to you guys I was a tour guide so I don't struggle with the same shyness or social anxiety that I used to but uh, especially when I was first in university I had a tremendous amount of social anxiety and self-consciousness and uh, I had a hard time going out to parties or going out to social events uh, because I was really nervous so it was it was actually very nerve-wracking for me and even when I got into those social situations a lot of the times it would be so overwhelming that I would have to leave parties early and a lot of times I'd actually find a way to sneak out of parties without being noticed. I, I became a master at doing that. Um, and it was just because it was so overwhelming. Like I, I, it, I felt like I was overwhelmed by the environment and I was also overwhelmed with my own thoughts, worrying about what other people thought of me. But uh, so during this time, I had a really great quote that helped me push through this because I knew that I wanted to have new experiences. I knew I wanted to have to do things with my life but uh, there'd be instances where I'd be home and I'd be on the fence I'd on the one hand I'd want to go out and socialize and hang out with other people but at the same time I'd want to stay at home because I was afraid of going out and socializing with people and thought oh, maybe it would be better off if I just stayed home alone and like hung out with myself but it was a very fear-based and when I was on the fence, when I was kind of like, should I go out? Ah, that's nerve wracking. Or should I stay home? This one quote helped me carry me through so many times. And the quote is, it's better to regret something you did than something you didn't do. And that more than often would push me and say, you know what? You're right. I'd rather have the experience of living my life and doing new things. If there was something exciting that came up, and I had this fear around, you know, not doing it because, I don't know, like social, it was mostly social reasons, being afraid of being in social situations. If I, if I wanted to do something, but at the same time this fear would come up, that quote would help me every time. Um, so, yeah. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to wrap this video up, but to say... It's better to regret something you did than something you didn't do. Alright, peace.